Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a little turtle. And this little guy measures about a couple of inches by about one inch and he's not too difficult to make. Um, we're going to be using some DK uh, light worsted weight 100% cotton and this time I'm going to make the shell colour in a red and we're going to be using white for all the feet underneath and his head and we also need a little bit of black as well, we only need a short length like that for the eyes and also we need a little bit of toy stuffing, you can use yarn scraps as well and it's always a good idea to have a pair of scissors and a yarn needle as well, like I say every day. <laughs> Okay, so let's begin. It also might help to know that we're going to be using a 2.5 millimeter crochet hook. I can't believe I forgot that. Um, okay, so what we're gonna do to begin is we're gonna get our colored yarn. I'm gonna work on the top part first. And what we need to do is work, we need to work six single crochet into a magic circle. Um, if you don't like the magic circle, you can again chain four, slip stitch into your first chain to form a loop and then work the six single crochet into that loop you just made. But we're going to work the six single crochet into a magic circle. And I've done a video in more detail on the magic circle. I'll put a link in the description to that video if, you're, if you want to learn it, if you're keen to try. So that's one, two, Three, four, five, and six. So we get six, and all we do is pull to tighten, and then we're going to slip stitch into our first single crochet. So check we've got six, two, four, five, six. And because we did a little dummy stitch, which my other video explains. You can see that first stitch nice and easy. So we're going to slip stitch into there to join the round like that. So the end of round one you should have six single crochet. Then what we're going to do is we're going to chain one and when we chain one we're going to bring up our yarn a little bit to keep it loose. That makes it easier to work into at the end of the round. So we're going to chain one then we're going to go back into the same stitch that we just slip stitched into to join the round which is underneath your chain one so go back into there and work a single crochet like so and that uh, chain one and single crochet counts as an increase so you've got two stitches in there technically so we're going to count the chain one as a stitch then in all the rest of the stitches we're going to do two single crochet so that's two single crochet in the next stitch one go back into the same stitch and do another so you've got two in there and do that for all the remaining stitches two single crochet in each stitch around so that's one two in there one and another one in there so you're, by the end of this round you should have a stitch count of 12. So, and it always looks like we've got a stitch left, but that's actually a fake stitch. It can sometimes trick you because our chain one is just next to it. So, there's your fake stitch, and just next to it is chain one. So, we need to slip stitch into our chain one. Hopefully, because we kept it nice and loose, should be easy to slip stitch into. And then we just join that round as well, the slip stitch. So, by the end of that round, you should have 12 stitches. Two, four, six, eight. 10, 12. And then the next round, we're going to chain one again and bring it up to keep it loose. Sorry, my table's really creaky. Chain one, and then go straight into the next stitch. So don't go into the stitch we slip stitch into this time. I'm going to go into the next stitch. We're going to work two single crochet. 
one and go back into the same stitch again and do another one so you've got two in there two single crochet that's an increase and in the next stitch we're just going to do one single crochet by itself just one and then an increase again of two single crochet so that's one and go back in the same stitch again for two and just repeat that round back to the beginning doing one single crochet two single crochet one single crochet two single crochet back to the beginning uh, you should end on two single crochet and you should have a stitch count of 18 okay let's come up to the last two stitches we do one single crochet by itself in the second to last stitch and the very last stitch we end on a two single crochet so that's one and another one in the same stitch so by the end of that round you should have 18 stitches and again don't get tricked by that fake stitch just next to it though is our chain one which hopefully we kept nice and loose and we're going to slip stitch into there like so so it should look a little something like that then all we're going to do is we're going to chain one and we're going to do one single crochet in each stitch around so go straight into the next stitch and just do one single crochet and do one single crochet in each stitch around so you've still got a stitch count of 18 including your chain one and we're going to do that for two rounds so you want to do two rounds of just chain one one single crochet in each stitch around and then slip stitch in your chain one to join Okay, so I'm going to do that and then I'm going to come back. So just coming up to the last stitch and do one single crochet and then we just slip stitch in our chain one to join. So I've done two rounds of just chain one, one single crochet in each stitch round, then slip stitching to join. I've done two rounds. It should create like a little mini hat <laughs> as it were. Then what we need to do is fasten off but leave enough yarn for sewing. There we go. Just pull that, pull that through. Okay so now we're going to move on to the body and the body is actually made um, with the little fins as well, feet fins. What do you call them on turtles? I don't know. So we're going to get our white yarn which is again a DK light worsted weight yarn and we're going to repeat the first three steps that we did on the top the first three steps but I'm going to show you again anyway so we're going to work six single crochet into a, a magic circle Tyson then slip stitch in your first <coughs> sorry single crochet to join the round losing my voice there we go so you should have six single crochet by the end of that round then what you want to do is we're going to chain one so just bring the yarn up to keep it loose chain one then we're going to do a single crochet in the same stitch we just slip stitched into. So I'm going to do a single crochet. So now you've technically got two stitches, including that chain one in that first stitch, you've got an increase. And then in the rest of the stitches around, sorry about the background noise, in all the other stitches we're going to do two single crochet in each stitch around. <laughs> so that's one single crochet and another one in the same stitch and then I've lost my thread now so that's two single crochet in each stitch around all the way back to the beginning and so, until you've got a stitch count of 12 because you're doubling up doing two in every stitch
10, 11, and last one, 12. There we go. And then you'll face with that fake stitch, but just next to there is your chain one, and you want to slip stitch into that chain one. Hopefully, if you've kept it loose enough, it should be easy enough to slip stitch into. So there we go. So by the end of that round, you should have 12 stitches. And then, again, for the next round, we're going to bring our yarn up and do a chain one. But this time, we're not going to work into that one we slip stitched into. We go straight into the next stitch and do two single crochet. One and another one in the same stitch. Then in the next stitch we're just going to do one single crochet by itself. Then in the next stitch we do two single crochet. So that's one and another one in the same stitch. And just repeat that round doing one single crochet, two single crochet, one single crochet, two single crochet, back to the beginning, we'll end on two single crochet and you should have a stitch count of 18 including your chain one. So let's just do that. One, then one and two. Okay, and when you're back at the beginning, once you've ended on two single crochet, we just slip stitch into that chain one that we did at the beginning. Like so. So that's basically the same first three steps that we did for the top as well, but we're not doing the two rounds of one single crochet. Instead, we're going to move on to some feet. And what we're going to do is we're going to chain four. One, two, three, and four. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to turn and work in the opposite direction. Now, you don't have to do this. This is just a personal preference. It just means that on the bottom you get the, the nicer side of crochet rather than this side but if you don't mind which side you have on the outside you prefer that side or this side um, if you want this side then turn your work but if you don't mind having the other side you can just not turn and work exactly the same stitches that we're about to work but I'm gonna turn just to be consistent with my other one and what we're gonna do in our second chain down so our second stitch along so not the loop on our hook, not that first one there, but that second one down, basically our third chain up. Just put your hook in there somewhere. It's probably difficult to do with the camera in front of you. There we go. I'm going to work a single crochet. Single crochet better than I just did. Then in the next chain down, we're going to do a double crochet. It doesn't really matter how you put your hook in or what bits of yarn you're catching. Just, just go with the flow, whatever's easiest. So we do a double crochet in the next one. And the very last one, we're going to do a single... Um, what are we going to do? I've forgotten. Um, this is the heat this is. It's been very hot. <laughs> It is a single crochet. It is a single crochet. So it's not a slip stitch. So there we go. So you do, in the second stitch, you do a single crochet, then a double crochet, then a single crochet. And then in the next stitch along on the base, so not this one here, but this next one over, we're just going to work a slip stitch. And like so. And we're going to do an, um, a slip stitch in the next four. So that's one. And then that's two, three, and four. And then we're going to chain four again. One, two, three, and four. And again, in should be a bit easier this time to see your chains in the second chain down, so not the loop first one, second one, we're going to put our hook in there and work a single crochet, just like we did before. And the next one we do a double crochet, and 
and then in the last one I'm going to do a single crochet. That brings us back down to the body again but this time we're going to do a slip stitch in the next five so the next stitch along you find your next stitch on the body do a slip stitch we're going to do it in the next five so that's one two three four five and then we do exactly the same thing again, chain four, one, two, three, four, and a single crochet in the second stitch down, single crochet, and a double crochet in the next one. And a single crochet in the last one. But this time we're going to do a slip stitch in the next four. So find the next one and do a slip stitch and put in, do a slip stitch in the next four. So that's one, two, three, and four. I'm getting really distracted because it's really, really hot and the windows are closed. I need to open these windows. Uh, then the last foot we're going to chain four again. One, two, three and four and the second stitch down we do our single crochet then we do our double crochet then we do our single crochet and then we're going to finish up get a bit more yarn off our creaky table then we're going to finish up with one sli uh, slip stitch in the next five. So you find your next stitch on the main body and do a slip stitch and we do it in the next five. So that's one, two, three, four. They're the clear ones, and the last one you just want to sneak it into there, just into that fake stitch five, like so. And then we're just going to cut our yarn, cut it pretty short, bring the yarn up, and there we go. And that just means that our feet, the nicer side of the feet stitches will be the same side as the nicer bottom side like that so that'll sit like that and you might want to just pop out the stitches a bit so the feet curl down like so okay so now what we're going to do is I'm just going to tidy up this tail end And by doing that, so this is going to be, that's our right side, so it's going to be on the inside, so I'm just going to neaten that up. Just sew through a few stitches, doesn't really matter how. Like so. And I'm just going to trim these down so they're not getting in the way. So there we go. So that's the base of our turtle, and there's the the top so all that's left to do is the head and to do the head we get our white yarn again uh, but this time we're going to work five single crochet into a magic circle so that's five single crochet instead of six this time so do our dummy stitch and then that's one two Three, four, five, pull to tighten, and slip stitch into your first single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, check we've got five. Because the heat's doing crazy things to my head. 
slip stitch to join. It's very small. It should look a little like that. Okay. Then we're going to do the same as before. We're going to chain one, bring it up, keep it nice and loose. Chain one. And we're going to do a single crochet in the same stitch we just slip stitched into. So go back into that same stitch. So now you've technically got two stitches in there, including your chain one. And then we're going to do the two single crochet in each stitch around to double up. So we've got a stitch count of 10 by the end of this round. So that's one and another one in the same stitch. Two in the next stitch. Then two in the next stitch. One and two. Seven and eight. And the last stitch, nine and ten. Nine and ten. And then you got your fake stitch that likes to trick you, but just next to that is your chain one. So find your chain one and just slip stitch into there to join your round. So at the end of that round you should have ten stitches. Okay, so moving on to the next round, what we're going to do is we're going to do two rounds of just chain one. So we bring our yarn up, do a chain one, and we're just going to work one single crochet in each stitch around. So we don't go back into the one we slip stitch into, we're going to go straight into the next stitch and do a single crochet. And we're going to do a single crochet in each stitch around. So we're keeping a stitch count of 10, including our chain one. So that's three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And ten. And then when we're back at the beginning, we're just going to slip stitch into our chain one. So there's our there's our fake stitch. It's quite hard to see because it's going to curve right in, but that's actually your fake stitch. So next to that's our chain one, which seems quite far away, but that's what we want to do. When you slip stitch, it should bring it all in. So by the end of that round you should still have 10. I'm going to do that one more time, so that's two rounds of chain one, one single crochet in each stitch around, then slip stitch, so chain one, and just do another round of one single crochet in each stitch around. We got to the last one, there's the last one. And then that's our fake stitch there, but just next to it is our chain one which we've kept nice and loose. Like so. It should look a little something like that. It should just fit on the end of your finger. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna pull the yarn up for a sec, we're not gonna fasten up, but what we're gonna do is I'm gonna trim down this bottom piece. Let's get it out of the way. Then we're going to bring in our black yarn. So quite a thin piece of yarn. You can use cotton or you could use um, sewing thread or as long as it's quite thin. I'm just using the same as this DK like Walsted. And then making sure the, the end part, so where it sort of dips in a bit, is at the bottom. We're going to work 
some eyes either side but come from the inside first making sure not to get tail end in the way so make sure that's at the bottom so I think our little eyes will go I don't know about there leave a little end hanging out just go up so over basically create like a little downward slit like that and then go over to the other side and down and out the back like so. so you've got like two little slit eyes like that looking downwards if you do them the other way you'll just look really cross <laughs> And then with the tail ends, what we're going to do is tie them in a knot. And tie them in a double knot. Like so. Okay, so then what we're going to do is we just push these tail ends on the inside and then we're going to bring back our hook like so so there you go, you've got your little eyes where are they gone? <laughs> so I thought back going on. Uh, two little eyes like that and then what we're going to do is we're going to chain one again bringing it up, putting it loose chain one then we're going to skip one, so skip the next stitch and then we're going to single crochet two together, so go into the next stitch bring it through then go straight into the next stitch and bring it through, so you've got three loops yarn over, pull through all three and then we're going to single crochet two together again like so, now we're going to do it again you might find it easy to flatten your hair as you do it gets fiddly. So you've done that three times and then we do it one more time into the next stitch. Bring it through to the next stitch. Bring it through yarn over, pull through all three loops. And then we need to find our chain one. So there's our fate stitch. There's our chain one. So there we go, and then we just slip stitch into our chain one, which can be a little bit fiddly. But do persevere. You can always give up there. If you can't slip stitch into your chain one, it's not the end of the world. You can just sew into it. You can undo, fasten off and sew. But what we're going to do is we're just going to leave a weeny bit of yarn for sewing. Like so, and then pull that through. Then what we need to do is we need to get a little bit of toy stuffing and you only need a tiny amount for now, you can use yarn ends as well. And I found the best way to stuff things that are a bit small is use a pair of scissors. So I'm going to push it out to begin and just stuff your head. Okay, so when your head is stuffed, so it's that way around that way around looks a bit evil that way around we then need to bring back our base and what you want to do is this side and this side were um, was where we slip stitched five stitches along and the, these ones here were just four stitches so making sure you've got the right you've got the two five the longer sides here and the shorter sides here we want to put the head on the shorter side so taking one end and then a yarn needle we're just going to sew very quickly just into the corner foot just into the corner there and making sure your head is the right way round so that's evil side, that's happy side <laughs> you just want to sew the bottom part 
of the head along the bottom, uh, along the, the edge of the body, the base. This heat really is getting to me. <laughs> So the bottom of your head to the base. So as neatly as you can. So you can do a neat job than I am doing. I've just done the same thing again. And again, you should be able to get one more stitch. You probably end up with about three stitches to get you over to the other side. Like so. so, it should you should have the opening like that. So you should have sewn the bottom of the head. So when you put your head up, you should have the eyes the right way around. And just leave that open for now. And then just take your yarn needle off and leave that loose for a second. And what we're going to do is we're going to get our top piece. And I'm just going to trim this down. You can always use this for stuffing. I'll just trim it down to get out of the way. So. And then take the long end and put it on your yarn needle. And then what we're going to do, we're just going to bring that over. So just sew into the next stitch quickly, just to bring that over. And then we're going to find the On the inside, got that all the right way around. Okay, so then we need to sew this to our body. What we want to do though is let's start just to that side of the head. So it doesn't actually matter where you start, but I'm going to start there. So, and the way I'm going to sew this is I'm going to go over, rather than do sew like that, I'm going to go over and up. I always do this when I sew because I find it gives a, a neater edge colour wise when you're mixing colours like this. Otherwise, you're going to end up with sort of loops of red, whereas here you've just got the, the blue hidden on the bottom a bit more. So, then we come up to the top. And then we go over into the next stitch and then down onto the bottom. They should line up, we should have 18 stitches on the bottom and 18 stitches on the top. So just work the stitches as neatly as you can. So go over on the bottom now and now up. I hope I'm making sense. And then over on the top and then down and just carry on like this back to the beginning so just all the way around going over and down over and up over and down over and up back to the other side here but leave an opening because we'll need to um, sew a certain way to get the head in and we need to stuff the body as well so leave just sew around back to the other foot and leave an opening at the end and then I shall come back and show you what to do next Okay, so when you've uh, finished sewing up to the other foot and uh, end on the bottom there, it should look a little bit like a very depressed little turtle. Uh, what we're going to do now though is we're going to stuff the shell. Let's take a bit of the stuffing, however much you need. Stuff it fairly firm and again using your scissors just push the stuffing into the shell. Okay, so when you finish stuffing, all that's left to do is to sew up the remaining gap. So I'm going to go just across, still on the body, the base, up to the next stitch. And then when I'm at the top, instead of going onto the base, I'm going to join the head. You may need to do some extra stitches when you do this. I just want to join the top part of the head now to the shell. Pull 
pull nice and tight as you go. The reason for that, it will hide any yarn colour differences as best it can. So, and then just moving that out of the way, just keep sewing that hole closed. nice and tight and then I just go over up to the old method back to the old method just to come out the bottom just to neaten it off like so <laughs> background noise and then what we need to do is hide our tail in so I'm just gonna Push it through anywhere on the shell, back up to the colour side, then go back down, come out somewhere else. Don't pull too tight in case you distort the shell. Then go back in again, come over somewhere else. Oops. And then let go of your needle and then we just push down our project push down the budget, hold that down tight, take your scissors and oops, sorry about the camera, trim and then when your project pops back that should disappear on the inside like so. I'm just going to do exactly the same for the white, sew it in, hide it on the inside just like I did then and then I shall come back and there we go and when, when you've uh, finished sewing in your tail ends you can just sort out the feet, make sure they face the other way and there we go and pop his little head up into shape and there we go there's your little turtle so I hope you enjoyed that tutorial I hope you managed to follow along um, I hope I made sense because I'm really hot <laughs> um, if you have any more ideas for the little videos you want to see for Yarn Scrap Friday then do let me know in the comments below and I shall see you next Friday for another Yarn Scrap Friday. Cheers for watching guys. Bye.